So let's talk about NVIDIA GPUs and power. I don't know if this is right. I'm reading right now that the next generation Kingpin, that's like the highest end, 4090, is gonna have power connectors that can go up to 1200 watts. Dual 12 pin, like the 3090 has one 12 pin. This is gonna have two of them. That's ridiculous. You're gonna need a, what, a 3000 watt power supply to even start to turn on your computer. So definitely pretty crazy. Let's talk about some power supplies, what you're gonna need for the next generation and what you should know about what it affects in your PC in general. Let's get started. And if you're building a high powered PC, remember to check out today's video sponsor. That's gonna be VIP-CDKDeals.com. You're gonna be able to get a Windows 10 key for really pretty cheaply. And these have worked really well. I've used it various times. You're gonna be able to also transfer this over to Windows 11 without any problems. If you upgrade in the future or if you've done so already, you know that it's been pretty smooth. So remember to use code CC20. That's gonna be my code. You're gonna get a nice discount off of the CD keys. They also have other things like Office and things of that nature. So code CC20 for a nice discount for Windows 10 Pro. Hey guys, Tiago with Classical Technology here. Remember to subscribe and smash that like button if you like content on GPUs and gaming and everything pretty much to do with that. So today let's address some power issues. Now, next generation, the RTX 4000 or Lovelace should probably be called Love Power because the wattage seems to be getting pretty out of hand. What is gonna be really the minimum power supply that you're gonna need if you wanna invest in one of these GPUs in the future? We know that the existing 3000 series GPUs are already pretty power hungry. I mean, look at some of the 3090s. They really hit 500 watts if they have a custom BIOS. Even a regular 3090 can easily go up to near 400. Even a 3070 Ti will be well into the 200 range in terms of power. So these are not efficient by any means, but after all, they are putting out a tremendous amount of power. So not only are pretty much every single graphics card getting more power hungry across the board, a lot of times they even need multiple cables to be powered. There are even 3070s that you're going to need triple 8 pin in order to power. That's pretty much unheard of in the 20 series generations of GPUs. Usually something like that would be reserved for only the top tier, like a kingpin or the craziest GPU that you can imagine. So pretty bonkers that a 3070 needs triple 8 pin. That does make it a little bit tough. Sometimes a power supply, you may not have the exact number of PCIe cables. If you have a cheaper unit, maybe that's not modular. So Next generation, who knows, we already see that the high-end GPUs are going to have like a double 12 pin, which is that uh, special NVIDIA connector. Of course, they're going to include an adapter in the box, but with that amount of power draw, you're going to want to make sure that your power supply certainly is going to be up to the task. Now, over the years, I've used various different types of power supplies. Recently, Deepcool did send me their PQ1000M. Now, this is going to be a 1000 watt power supply, and this is going to be gold plus. In my opinion, you should really strive to get at least gold for all of your power supplies. That's basically the efficiency that the power supply you know, runs at, the way that it's gonna dissipate heat. It's just gonna function considerably better, especially with these high-end GPUs, probably save you more power costs compared to you know a much cheaper unit. Of course, above gold, you're gonna have platinum, titanium, things of that nature, but generally, I think gold is pretty good for most people. I would only do platinum and above if you're really, really gonna be pushing your power supply like almost like in a server situation or if you're doing some type of you know uh, rendering where you keep it on 24 hours a day for most people gold is certainly going to be more than enough and a thousand watts is actually pretty interesting in the past people would think that's almost for an overkill system i remember years ago 1200 watts was really sort of where people started hitting that limit for not only the price they wanted to pay but what could you really fill up even if you had a few titan gpus 1200 watts was pretty spicy now, a thousand watts, you could easily sort of start to really fill that up with some of these more power hungry CPUs. The 3090 does have a 750 watt, you know, sort of recommendation, but if you pair a 3090 with maybe a 12900K or even something like a Threadripper or some HEDT processor that's gonna pull two to 300 watts, you are gonna start to get pretty close to that 750 limit if for some reason you're using both at the same time. Most of the time games won't use the CPU nearly as much as the GPU, but if you're doing anything else like with content creation or you know whatever else you may be using it for, 750 starts to get a little bit close to the limit, especially if you have a high
high-end GPU that's pulling 4 to 500 watts already. We're not even talking about the next generation 4000. When we start looking at the next generation, I think that we're going to see a thousand watt power supplies be recommended as the minimum for the highest end GPUs. If you have a 4090 pulling five to 600 watts, no way is 750 or even 850 going to be enough because that's most likely going to be paired with a pretty high end CPU as well. And of course you have all the other things in your system that also are going to pull that power. So. 1000 watts is going to be the minimum, I think, for really high-end gaming. If you guys are sitting on a 3080 Ti or a 3090 or something like that right now, and if you plan to upgrade to the next generation like many of us does, of course, if we can find the GPUs in stock without any issue, I think you're going to find having at least 1000 watts is just going to feel more comfortable in terms of your overhead that you're going to have in your system. Of course, you can always get away with, you know, using a less wattage power supply, especially if it's a good quality one, but in general with these expensive components, I really don't think it's going to be worth that sort of price difference to really change it around. So, in my opinion, I think the high end is going to shift over to a 1000 watt minimum. For everything else, let's say like the 3060 or 37 class GPUs, when that comes out in sort of its RTX 4000 flavor, I think most likely those are all going to get bumped up a little bit as well. You're not going to need a thousand watts, probably not even for a 4080. That's probably going to be a lower recommendation, of course, but I still think 750 to 850 is going to be the sweet spot. Probably the days of running a 550 watt power supply on like a mid-tier and very high-end GPU, they're going to start coming to a close unless the CPUs as well get more efficient. And as we've seen from the Intel 12th generation Alder Lake, they definitely can be very, very power hungry. You pair that with these very power hungry GPUs, use and you're going to have a combination that just equals one thing lots of heat lots of power draw and much higher wattage needed for your power supply as well or you're going to be running up against that limit and that's not really going to be great for your components you're going to have shutdowns and overcurrent protection and things like that so i want to know what you guys think about the next generation gpus heck even the 3090 ti is supposed to have a 450 watt you know, TDP. So it's already going up. Are you guys sort of changing the way that you look at power supplies? Basically, the way I view it is, first, of course, you want a good quality power supply from good name brands. You know, even though the power supply is perhaps not the most exciting part of a build, it really underpins everything in your build. So you want to get not only sufficient wattage, but make sure it's a good quality one. Like I said, at least gold rated and make sure it comes from a reputable brand. That way you know that the specs on the box, um, especially sort of the peak numbers and the, you know the constant wattage you can put out. And there's always a difference between sort of the peak wattage and the constant wattage that a power supply can take. The better quality the power supply is the more accurate usually the specs on the box will be as well so let me know what you guys think what are you planning ahead in the future as it comes to being able to power your GPUs? Are you looking at higher and higher wattage power supplies? Or do you think if eventually, if you wait long enough, maybe GPUs will start to get more efficient again? They're definitely not getting easier to find or cheaper, but more efficient, like maybe like what Apple is doing. Maybe they're going to turn around and they can only go so high in terms of their power draw, but that might take a few years. And I don't know if you want to wait to upgrade that long. So remember to subscribe, smash that like button, and I'll see you guys on the next video.